All right, chapter six, circuit diagrams and troubleshooting. Fuel manual 5499, hydraulics, headquarters, department of army, distribution restriction approved for public release, distribution is unlimited. Circuit diagrams and troubleshooting. Hydraulic circuit diagrams are complete drawing with a hydraulic circuit. Include the diagram's description, sequence, operation, notes, and component lists. Actual, accurate diagrams are essential to the design of the people who build with the machine with the person who prepare for the hydraulic paramedic mechanism. Our precision units continue with smooth operation depends on the frequent inspection of the person who will maintain with the equipment of the system of the performing frequent inspection of the system must be kept with the cleaning of the oil filters and change with the established intervals. Hydraulic circuit and diagram. The four types of hydraulic circuit diagrams are block, cutaway, and pictorial and graphical. The diagrams show the components and these interact with the manufacturer, engineer, assembly with how to, con to connect the components. Field technicians show and how the system works with each of the components should be doing so, where the oil should be going, so that, uh, that where the oil should be going, so the technical diagnosis and repair the system. All right, block diagram. A block diagram shows the components with lines between the clocks, which indicate connections or interconnections. Cutaway diagrams. A cutaway diagram internal construction over the components as well as the flow pass. Because of the diagram and the color shades and various patterns in the lines passages, it can show many different flows and pressure conditions. Um, pictorial diagram shows the cutting uh, circuits, piping arrangement. Components are uh, seen externally and used in closed re reproduction of the actual shapes and sizes. Graphical diagram. A graphical diagram of the shorthand system of the industry you've the preferred by the design and troubleshooting system. Geometric symbols represent the components and their controls and connections. Figure 6-1 shows the graphical circuit diagram. Um, a reservoir, a double pump, and then the lifting circuit and rotary of the uh, pump. 16. United States American Standards Institute, USASI. Graphic instant symbols. USASI, the Old American Standard Association Joint Industry Conference of JIC, the three system symbols used in circuit diagrams manually. U.S. Um, States Amer United States American Standard Institute symbols shown in Figure Six Two and Page Six Two and Six Three. Shows line working, line pilot, line drain, connector, line flexible, lines joining, lines passing direction, flow, line reservoir above fluid, below fluid, line vented to mano, manifold, um, plugged or clock, plug, plug or plug connections, restriction, restriction variable, pumped, single phase displacement, single variable displacement, actuators, motor fixed displacement, reversible, motor fixed, non reversible, um, motor variable displacement, reversible, Cylinder signal action, cylinder double action, differential, non-differential, um, check valve on and off, and annual shut off, pressure relief, pressure reducing relief, shows it going to a uh, reservoir, and in the open position, flow control adjustable, non-compensated, uh, flow control adjustable temperature pressure rate, so this is two position um, connection, Three position, two position, three connection, two position, four connections, um, three position, four connection, um, two position transition, and these are really shitty. Um, valves capable infinite position, horizontal bars indicate infinite positions ability. Spring manual, push button, push lever, pedal treadle, um, pedal treadle, mechanical, detent, pressure compensated, solenoid single, reversing motor, pilot pressure, remote supply, internal supply, rotating shaft enclosure, reservoir vent and pressurized, pressure gauge, electric motor, accumulated spring loaded, accumulated gas charge, heater, cooler, temperature cooler, filter strainer. All right, there's six three reservoir symbols, vented reservoir, pressure reservoir to the right of that, and line terminating above fluid level, and line terminating below fluid level. Reservoir, the symbol of the reservoir, rectangle horizontal side, longest um, side of the reservoir is vented for the atmosphere over the top of the symbol is, is open, and the reservoir pressure for the top is closed. Um, um, 
Regardless of whether they are connected, the line terminates below the fluid level that runs to the bottom of the symbol. The line connected with the bottom of the reservoir may be drawn with the bottom of the symbol. The bottom of the connection is essential for the system operation. For example, when the pop and inlet must be changed, charge or flooded deposit with the head of oil must um, be above the inlet port. There must be position above the pump symbol. The suction line drawn into the bottom of the symbol. Every reservoir has at least two hydraulics connected into it. Some have more. Reservoirs usually use only one component pictured more than once. Edit the component return to drain lines from the reservoir of the previous president represented correctly. All right, B lines. Figure six four show the symbol of the hydraulic lines, which are followed with the work line and solenoid line. Represent of the hydraulic pipe tube hose are over the conductor and carries liquid between the components. Pilot line long dashes represent control lines. Um, drain line short dashes represent the drain lines for leaking oil. Flexible line, a solid arc line with a drum with the two dots with the representative of the flexible line in the system. Figure 6-5 diagram H of the cross line with it are not connected. System, system 1 and 2 represent the two ways that indicate the intersection 1 of the loop with the one without a loop. Diagram B of the lines are connected. Lines in the system are the dot with indicating that the loops of the designated with the crossing lines of the system 2 do not use the dot with the crossing indicating loops are not used in the crossing. All right, six four show the working line, the pilot line, the drain line, and flexible line. Um, figure and the pump, the basic symbol of the pump, the circle, of the black triangle, with the circle, of the pump, and the inward with the pressure line over the front of the pump, with the drum, with the triangle, with the suction line, with the drawn opposite to it. Triangle indicates the flow direct flow of the direction. If the pump is reversible, it have two triangles, point one pointing out of each out of each port. Um, poor connections to the pump with any of the component except for the reservoir with the points of the line with the touch the symbol of the variable the adjustable components designated with the arrow drawn through the components at a 45 degree angle. Motor. Motor symbols are circle with a black triangle with a pointing inward with an indicator of the motor or receive the pressure energy of the figure 6 7 with the one of the triangle indicated with the non reversible pump. Non reversible motor triangles indicate with the reservoir non indicates of two triangles indicate a reversible motor. Flow direction. Single triangle with a full triangle. Similar directions in single triangle is the wave of the triangle points with the reversible motor straight with the pump of the valve symbol of the wave of the tray for the flow of the diagram. Arrows outside of the line show the flow direction. Which always the flow from the pump pressure port into the motor port that is connected with the pressure line, the opposite of the port discharged back to the tank. Alright, so you have your system one loop, system two not loop, a non connecting line, system one dotted lines, system two non dotted lines, and B cylinder, the basic cylinder symbol is a simple rectangular barrel, the T shaped figure, um, T shaped figure, a piston or a rod. The symbol can be drawn in any position found with the describe the four different cylinders. Two figure six eight. Single acting cylinder, one hydraulic line drawn with the basic cylinder symbol with the end of the posit opposite of the port. Double acting cylinder, both ends of the cylinder close with two lines meet with the basic cylinder port at the port to connection. Double end round cylinder and rod line with the end of the rod and end of the basic cylinder cylindable. And a cushion cylinder, small rectangles placed on the piston line with a cushion with adjustable orifice. Uh, Slanted arrow drawn across the symbol, but there's no sign of the flow of the direction. So I will watch to the way of the connected, which will help determine the flow. All right, this shows a uh, your uh, pump symbols, which have um, fixed displacement, variable displacement simplified, variable displacement pressure compensated, reverse with lever. Um, this one has two triangles. That means it's a reversible pump. All right, non-reversible motor arrows follow the path of the um, of the flow of the liquid, the valves in the reservoir tank into an adjustable um, reversible motor tank. Um, uh, these six eight cylinder symbols ports double acting port single acting. Double-ended rod, non-adjustable, and cushion. All right, figure 6-9 shows the uh, pressure control symbol, a uh, spring, a pilot pressure line, outlet, inlet, and this is normally closed with the arrow to the right of the center line and open with an inlet with the, um, to the left as straight through the center. 
Relief valve, figure 610, with the relief valve symbol that goes within between the pressure line of the tank flow direction arrow points away from the pressure inlet port of the toe of the tank of the pressure system overcome with the valve spring flow with the pressure port to the tank port. And we'll look at 610. Um, pressure flow and pump goes into the relief um, pressure relief valve. The, the ace has a pressure relief. It's closed. It's a spring. It goes into the bottom of the relief pump. And the pump um, play, and draws the letter into the pressure line. All right, your sequence valve, um, figure 611. The sequence valve, you the relief valve high over the inlet port that's connected with the primary cylinder. The outlet port is connected with the secondary cylinder line. Pilot pressure from the primary cylinder line sequence flows out with port when the reach of the valve settings of the sequence externally drawn with the drain connections added to the symbol at the drain locations of the valve. All right, 6, 611, show the relief valve, um, a pump pumping it and it goes into a relief valve but the pump goes into a directional valve which is then sent to this primary cylinder and then it has another adjustable primary closed um, sequence valve uh, to the drain so you have it's in between the secondary and primary you have a sequence valve that adjusts the valve direction All right, your check valve, figure 612, page 68. Check valves use the sequence valve free return flow of the cylinder reversed. Um, check valve uses a, uses a sequence valve free return flow of the cylinders are reversed. Figure 612, diagram A, show the valve separate units. Diagram B, show the check valve built into the sequence valve with a box around the valve enclosure. Show the limits of the components of some loop containing more than one component enclosure, alternate long and short dash long. The external ports are assumed to be an external enclosure line indicated with the connections to the components. Alright, A is separate units, relief, pump, directional sequence, check valve, primary cylinder, um, no direction, flow direction, free flow direction. Well, I'll read this real quick. All right, your counterbalance um, valve th picture 613, the counterbalance valve with the normally closed pressure control with the integral check valve with the direct control valve. You have the same symbol of the figure 613 with the primary connected with the port over the bottom, bottom of the port cylinder, secondary port with the directional valve. The valve is drained internally. So the symbol show with no drain connection, the valve body has two primary ports. Symbol should show with on the, on the plug, one of them plugged. All right, your pressure producing valve, figure 614, page 69, show the normally open pressure producing valve, show the outlet pressure opposite of the spring to modulate, shut off the flow of the valve setting is reached. G, flow control valve, 615, page 69, show the symbols of the basic flow control, adjustable, non-adjustable valves. These figures allow the symbol to complete the adjustable pressure compensated flow control valve with a built-in bypass. Directional control valve with the directional control valve symbol that gives a multiple envelope system that has a separate rectangle for each of the position. All port connections are made with the envelope shovel. The natural condition of the valve arrows in each envelope shovel the flow pass from the valve shift is to the valve position. Unloading valve figure 616, page 69. The symbol of the valve has two envelopes normally closed position shown on the black and of the valve. The spring control placed for the adjacent of the envelope and indicating the spring control of the position. The external pilot pressure is placed again at the bottom of the envelope indicating the flow condition when the pilot pressure. So you have a separate unit's relief valve. This is a pump. Then it's um, from the bottom of the drain of the relief valve. The pressure produced valve goes into the relief valve. The pump pushes it into a directional valve which circles back to the open vented reservoir bottom of the pump uh, so it re and then the uh free flow and direction primary cylinder comes back and forth and it connections in between a check valve and then it ends up in another sequence valve which delivers it to the directional control valve and back and forth between the check valves and primary cylinders and free flow direction Integral sequence check uh, to cil secondary cylinder shows a check valve, a uh, pressure relief valve on a spring, a closed pressure relief valve, component enclosure. Right, you have a plug port, pressure relief valve, check valve, uh, counterbalance check valve, um, double acting cylinder, direction of valve of the flow. All right, reduced pressure outlet. This is spring loaded on the um, pressure relief. Reduced pressure, non-adjustable, adjustable. 
All right, it takes over the long, lower envelope of the superimposed with the top of the envelope of symbol would show with the flow pass for the arrow connect for the bottom outlet reservoir. Two ordinary four-way valve figure 617 of the page 610 valve with the two position valve symbol with the two envelope of the valve has central position symbol with the three envelope of the actual control symbol to place for the end of the envelopes. The stream envelope show the flow condition for the adjacent controls are actuated. And we'll just look at number f um, 616 unloading valve symbol. So the spring um, from pump to port and then port to two ports, um, spring loaded, it looks to be two envelopes um, from pump to uh, and close pump to close pump um, on below unvented vented pressure line. All right, ordinary four-way valve. Uh, pay figure six sixteen. If the valve of the two position when the symbol has two envelopes, the valve has the center position. If the valve uh, if the valve has two positions, the symbol has two envelopes. If the valve has a center position, the symbol will have three envelopes. Actuating cylinder control symbols are placed at the end of the envelopes. Extreme envelopes show flow conditions adjacent to the controls are actuated. All right. Um, To the left, there's two positions controlled, um, external pilot pressure, A and B, and then solenoid controlled, um, two positions with solenoids, and then the solenoid controlled with an internal pilot signal, three positions spring-centered, um, there's three envelopes, this is a control zone pilot light. This one's spring centered, closed center, controlled by solenoid and internal pilot pressure. And those are your four way directional control valve symbols. All right, mobile directional valve se section, figure 618, page 610. The symbol has this valve that resembles the four-way symbols. However, it is added to the connection flow path to represent bypass passes. The separate changes, separate envelopes for, it, for each infinite position. Connections are shown in central or neutral position. Um, symbols show the manual lever control of the central springs at each end. And then we'll look at that. All right, um, figure 618 shows mobile direct control valve ports. So there's a manual control on both ends, spring centered. Um, check valve pressure line and bypassageways. Float detent. This one has um, three, three positions. Check valve pressure line um, in the center. Check valve pressure line. Um, float descent, floating spool, which I don't really understand. But view a double acting D spool, view B a motor spool, and single acting T spool. So P would be your pressure line, float detent, and then this one's manual control with spring centered. Uh, I'm going to read the next paragraph. All right. Accessories. A symbol fluid with addition is a square. Figure 619, page 611. It's trimmed 45 degrees with the port connection with the corner of the dotted line and right triangle with the port connection to indicate with the addition of the filter strand and cooler symbol with the line, right angle, fluid line, injury triangles indicating point out accumulation. Figure 62611. The symbol is in an oval added um, inside of the details indicating spring load, gas charge, or other features. All right, fixer 619 fluid conditioner symbols shows a filter and a strainer. Filter on the top, strainer on the bottom, spring loaded, and then grass charged. Typical mobile circuits, uh, those are your accumulator circuits. Um, typical mobile circuits, hydraulic power steering, road patrol, track, track steering, considerable typical mobile circuits. Hydraulic lift circuit, figure 621, shows the lift portion of a hydraulic system circuit. Circuit has two cylinders, a single acting lifting cylinder, and a double acting tilt cylinder. Lift cylinder moves the lifting fork up and down, tilt cylinder mass back and forth to support the dump load. Um, two section multiple unit directional valve control cylinder operation first valve is double acting D spool to operate the tilt cylinder hydraulically in either direction. The outer envelope shows typical four flow pass for reversing the cylinder. The second has a single acting T spool to operate the lifting cylinder. This is cylinder is returned by gravity bypass unloads the pump. 
All right, so your D spool is your uh, double acting spool to tilt the cylinder. It shows a um, lever controlled spring operated three envelope um, pressure line going through the center. Um, closed ports in the center, three position, finite positions. T spool is uh, lever controlled spring actuated. Um, multiple ports. And you have a lift cylinder and a tilt cylinder. I really haven't learned how to do these yet. And then it shows a pressure reducing valve. And then the two steering circuit from the vented um, reservoir, which connects at the bottom to your pressure reducing valve. Um, so your D spool T section lift cylinder tilt cylinder run into the steering reservoir and the reservoir rotates and pumps. The pump driven by the lift um the trunk's engine supply a circuit with a lower volume end of the enclosure around with the two sum symbol that indicates both the pumping units and contain single assembly the same apply with the two directional valve of the leaf valve enclosed and they are single assembly. Figure 621 show the circuit um, neutral valves are same figure were to operating mode of the other envelopes valves some of them were shifted over the line with the ports and center envelopes arrows and envelopes which then show the flow path of the pressure inlet with the cylinders of return flow tank. All right, power steering circuits, hydraulic power steering incorporates hydraulic boost manual and basic manual steering system. Basic manual steering system arrangement gears of the box with multiple multiples of inlet torque of the steering wheel with a much greater of the torque and steering shaft figure 622. Steering shaft through the pitman arm or steering shaft arm transmit increase the torque share shrinking linkage. The steering arms of the turn the wheels, brakes, and system manual um, steering gears and steering linkage and steering wheel, steering gear and linkage and steering wheel, hydraulic boost of the mechanical operated hydraulic steer servo may be applied to steering link figure 623 within the steering gear steering wheel movements actuate steering valve directs the fluid under the pressure steering valve move body valve of the valve spool of the hydraulic boost is applied when the steering wheel is moved figure 620 is used on manual steering gear layout steering steering gear steering shaft pitman arm linkage steering arm wheel pivot kingpin and tail, ball studs Integral power steering system has a hydraulic boost subsystem um, would be because of the mechanical steering steering valve the actuated moving steering shaft the valve controls operation power cylinder thrust the power cylinder and transmitted directly to the steering shaft rod shock transmitted back to the, from the wheel is taken up in the steering gear. 622, um, 624 shows the page 623 shows semi integral power steering system valve on, on gear system. Steering valve is built into the steering gear with the power cylinder that is attached to the vehicle's frame. The link, linkage, rod shock, thrust, and absorbed in the frame. 623 shows uh, parts 8, their uh, pitman arm, integral steering unit, rod. Road Patrol, search track circuit figure 625, page 614. Diagrams A and B respectfully show road per, um, patrol track, hydraulic system, hydraulic circuit schematic, and a comparison of the trucks need three double acting. Cylinders operate the blade of the dump body with a pilot hose, cylinder with a front plow, and an arm blade cylinder, dump body hose cylinder. Trucks has power steering system operative one half double pump. The steering system has been emitted with from diagram B. Schematic show that the three cylinders are operated through a three spool multiple directional fed large volume and dump pump. Alright, 6 4 troubleshooting. Personal should follow the steps of the troubleshooting. Follow the show of the, um, following show stop system. Stay with the circuit diagrams. Test by using reliable tests or organize the knowledge game with the circuit test results. Perform repairs taking time to do the job. Cause improper operation. Improper operation does occur. The cause generally be traced by one of the following using wrong oral velocity type insufficient fluid in the system present in the air in the system. Mechanical damage, structural fusion, internal external leakage, jerk decomposed packaging, water sludge, rust, other form of material in the system and proper adjustment, heat exchanger, plug dirt, and leaky. Testing hydraulic system to complete the individual ports of the hydraulic circuit. You have the hydraulic circuit tester, paragraph 2.8, paragraph page 2.18. Best tester is you have the combative portable unit one that can check flow and pressure and temperature. Comparing test results, specification of hydraulic power systems are power transmission system only purpose for the components and circuits are controlled with the transfer power for the motor shaft for the point of effective work. 
So this one shows the semi-integral power steering system, steering valve, the steering column, and steering gear. Here, hydraulic horsepower is equal to the flow flow in gallons per minute, in gallons per minute each times the pressure in psi over one one point seven one seven four one. 1714 sorry our right, view h of the power steering booster pump reservoir under under blade cylinder dump body hoister cylinder multi-unit control valves over relief overload relief valve and then in a mobile direction you see three um three spools three envelopes um power power pressure line um uh Three double acting cylinders, um, dump hoist cylinder, over under blade cylinder, dump pump, um, a pressure reducing easily valve, a vented pressure line to power steering. By measuring these two factors at the same time, it's possible to read the effective output any, at any point. Comparing the test result with the specification will give the necessary fault findings facts. Slippage. All hydraulic systems have slippage in see paragraph 34, page 393 of the event, even when new. We're increasing the slippage where in points increase causing a decrease in gallons per minute per hour minute. Um, however, system pressure is maintained in the type of the wear of the greater than all flow is lost. Only a complete breakdown of the pressure gauge of the, the trouble is, is. Conducting flow pressure and temperature would be have the indicator that such a problem void of the complete breakdown. Note. Although te at low oil temperatures, low pressure, light loads of the machine will continue to operate, but at less speed. Flow pressure. Always test fl flow and pressure together. Connect hydraulic testers and hydraulic circuit various po points and the high late checkpoints, pumps, and valves and cylinders efficiency. Figure 626 show the hydraulic tester connected to the pump's output. Check the flow of the various pressure of the turn checks of the pump and the performance against the recommended specification. Isolation testing individual components. Hydraulic tester. Direct return fluid um, to the reservoir. If the fluid returns the reservoir through the system piping you will need to get a correct reading because of the build up of the back pressure. Test the circuit that described isolate with a proportion test to complete the analysis system. The test of the full credit and circuit indicates a malfunction. Isolate with a portion of the test remaining in portions of the until you find the malfunction. Generally all cylinders will fail first. Package, packing will become the friction load against the cylinder walls. Therefore, isolate cylinders first. This results in indicating circuit operating properly with the cylinder have the problem. During testing, determining the setting of the addition of the relief valve, the further the tests are necessary, isolate the direction control valve to check with the dump pump deficiency with the inlet hose. Troubleshooting hydraulic systems. Isolate and check valve directional control valves for leakage efficiency. System relief valves for leakage proper settings. Problems gallons per minute per hour flow. Minute gallons per minute flow at various pressure cylinders efficiency. Other conditions. Other problems could occur but not directly related nor caused by various parts of the hydraulic system. The problems could show the same. General malfunction properly operating system. For example, the leaky hose packaging gland seals would be visually evident binding of the direct control valve of the cylinder piston rod to tinted the deformed hydraulic cylinder or crimped or restricted pressure line would be harder to detect. Um, specific trouble uh, causes in solution, table 6-1 through 6-5, pages 6-17 through 6-21, lists possible problems solution in hydraulic systems. All right, your no fuel delivery problems in solution. Fluid level in the reservoir is low. Add the recommended oil check with the level on both sides of the tank. Baffles to be certain when the pump section is submerged. Oil intake pipe or inlet filter is plugged. Clean the filter, otherwise remove the instruction. Air, inlet, air leak inlet prevents priming caused with the noise and irregular action control circuit. Repair the leaks. Tra the pump shaft turns slowly to prime itself. The intake pumps only. Check the appropriate manual's minimum speed recommendations. The oil viscosity heavy to pick up the same. Use light oil viscosity file with the appropriate manual's recommended temperatures and service. Shaft rotates in the wrong direction. Reverse rotation immediately to prevent um, reverse the rotation immediately to prevent seizure and parts from breaking due to lack of oil. Pump shaft is broken. Both parts are broken inside a pump or a shear pin or shinger linkage is broken. See appropriate manual replace instruction. Pump has dirt in it. Dismantle. Clean the pump and flush the system. Stroke. Uh, the stroke is incorrect or variable delivery pump. See appropriate manual for instruction. 
no pressure on the symptom. Possum pumps did not deliver any of the oil uh, any for, uh, oil for any reason given in the above section. Found the remedies given. Relief valve setting is not high enough. Relief valve leak. Relief valve spring is broken. And increase the pressure setting. Relief valve check the appropriate manual for the correct pressure. Check the seat for score marks and reseat. Replace spring and a readjustment valve. Vine struck in the rotor on the slots. Vein type pumps only. Inspect wet chips. Inspect oil excess but excess velocity. Head is loose and very infrequent occurrence. Tighten the head. Check the appropriate manuals before tightening. Oil tank um, recirculates freely through the system. Check the seat of the return line is open due to the either directional valve open, central, neutral position, or some other valve is left open. Control valves have internal linkage. Both other various are circuits to determine. Block off various uh, parts of other circuits to determine where the leak is repair where it's located. Noisy pump intake fill line filter restricted intake pipe is partially clogged. Clean the intake strainer and eliminate restrictions and ensure the inlet pipe is open. Noisy pumps continued. Um, air leak is occurred for the pump intake piping joints. Air leaks in present pump shafting packing. Air is drawn through inlet pipe openings. Pour out oil, oil on the joints. Lightening the change of the operating sound light and the tighten the joints is required. Pour oil around the shaft listening to the change of the operating sound flow with appropriate manual instruction changing the packing. Ensuring the inlet and return lines are as well below the or as well below the oil level of the reservoir and oil reservoir if necessary. Are the air bubbles present? Intake oil, hydraulic oil is foaming, dispersant. Reservoir air vintage is plugged. Clean and replace breather. Pump is running too fast. The appropriate manual recommended maximum speed. Oil viscosity is too high. Use lower oil viscosity. Check the appropriate manual for recommended temperature and service. Coupling is misaligned. Reapply, realign coupling. Pump vein and struck vein type pump. Inspect the pump wedge shapes and sticky load reassemble. Parts are worn and broke. We'll replace worn and broken parts. Parts. External oil leak shaft packing is worn. Replace the worn part. Head oil present in one inlet pipe connection. Keep all joints in flight. Jeep and jeep leakage may be necessary. Excessive wear. Brace of matter and hydraulic oil may be circulated through the pump. Install adequate filter. Replace oil more often. Oil velocity too low for the working condition. Check an appropriate recommendation lubrication chart for the information. So Stand high pressure curves with the maximum op pump rating. Check with the relief in the regulator valve maximum setting. Drive misaligned. Belt drive is tight. Check the parts and correct the problem. Recirculating sha causing shattering in the system. Move air from the system. Broken parts inside the pump housing. Assess the pressure above the maximum pumping rating at present. Check with the relief regulator. Maximum setting seizure occurred due to the lack of oil. Check the reservoir oil filter possibility restriction in that line. So matter may be wedged in pump insulation filter and selection line. Head screws are tight. Check appropriate manual recommendation adjust. Inoperative system problem. System fails to be um fails because any of the problem listed in table six through six five. File recommended solution. Mechanisms creep, stopped in the intermediate position, internal leak internal leakage occurred with the actuating cylinder and operating valve. Place piston packing cylinder if the walls are scored or replace or repair the valve. Longer operating times than specified air present in the system. Believe the system actuating cylinder direction control valve has internal leakage. Place piston packing. Replace the cylinder wall scored. Replace repair valve. Clean unit. Remove form matter. Check the clean cam clearance. Pump is warm. Repair and replace the pump. Action sluggish startup but is operating temperatures increase. Action slows down after warm up depending on the equipment and circuit design. Could indicate the oil velocity is too high. Check appropriate manuals lubrication order. External oil leaks and cap leaks. Tighten caps if possible. Replace gas. Get Chevron seals leak, adjust and replace weak um, the seals. Abnormal packaging gland wear. Cylinders not fast, securely fastened to the frame, causing vibrate. Tighten the cylinder, check it periodically. Cylinder and piston rod extension are misaligned. Check the parts and correct the problem. Slide load occurs on the piston rod. Check cylinder alignment and warm pins or ball joints. Heating caused by power unit, reservoir pump, relief valve, coolers. Relief valve is set with a high pressure for the necessary excessive oil dissipated. Increase the slipping various parts of relief valve or direction valve. Check the manual correct pressure reset the relief valve. Internal oil leaks due to the wear and pump. Repair and replace pump. Oil velocity is too high. Check appropriate manual for correct velocity due to the various temperature. Overhaul pumps may be assembled too tightly, reducing clearance and increased friction. Following appropriate manuals, rebuilding a pump. Pump has leaking. Check of the relief valves, repair and replace valves. Oil cooler coolant function is improperly cut off. Inspect cooler cleaning inside outside. Ensure the airflow or coolant around the fins are in not cut off. Cool conditions of the system causing excessive heating. 
All right, lines are restricted. Replace lines if the crime to remove the obstruction lines are partially plugged. Large to unpump deliveries not unloaded properly. Ensure the open center valves are neutralized. That any of the pressure relieving valves are correct position. Allow only only small pumps to stay in high pressure when running idle or long periods. Radiation is insufficient. Artificial cooling. Um, pump has internal leakage. Locate and replace packaging. Reserve wire too small. Provide adequate cooling. Replace them with a larger reservoir. Well, piping is undersized. Check the flow of the elastic of the line valves compared with these manual recommendations. Velocity excessive and install larger equipment. Hold on, motor turns in the wrong direction. Conductors are crossed between the control valve and the motor circuit. Check the trigger to determine the correct condition. Uh, conductor connection between the control valve and the motor. Motor does not turn, but it does not develop proper speed of torque. Spun system overload, relief adjustment, not set with a high enough. Check the system pressure reset of the relief valve. Relief valve sticks open, clean, replace relief valve adjust. Oil to the reservoir freely recirculates through the system. Check open circuit with leakage. Direct control valve may be an open center neutral. Drive mechanism binds because of the misalignment. Check motor shaft for alignment. Pump does not deliver enough gallons per minute or pressure. Check gallons per minute or pressure repair or replace. Motor yoke is not set at a proper angle. Just pump yokes. Motor pumps yoke angle. External oil leak from the motor. Seals leak and drain may not be connected from the motor to the tank. Check motor three, third line of drain line that must go into the tank using piston, piston and vein motors. C6 six, table 6 one for improper operation on pump. All right, six five problems in solution accumulator uh, options. Sudden d drop in accumulator um, pressure piston selector valve is changed. Problems accumulators and ex internal external leak repair leak and replace accumulator. No pressure with the pump stops running. No pressure with the pump is was running. Hydraulic line line has a leaking gas or check valve. Place the checker over the over the gas valve. Sluggish response for the accumulator oil screen accumulator stops. Dismantle dis dis the accumulator. Clean the screen. Gas precharge is not sufficient. Precharging according to recommendation of the mail. Check for the gas leaks. Note: Release all internal pressure before we're making repairs on the accumulators. Chapter seven: Electrical devices troubleshooting and safety.